Hello everybody, this is the ever-lovable, ever-kingly Fuse Stopper. Welcome back to more Shovel Knight King of Cards, and let's just get right into it because no more monologuing. We're finally, after several episodes of side quests and procrastination, actually going to the... Well, not final boss if you know Shovel Knight, but... The, the final obstacle in our path of becoming the King of Cards. Let's just say that. So first things first, we're going to try to actually get this... No, screw it. We don't need the money. We're so freaking rich. And you, you, know how to, you know how to get the money if you really need to. And if you don't, well, it looks like we're getting the money. Okay, you, you, you know what? You know what, game? I don't like your attitude with me today. I'm just trying to have a fun time playing my favorite game, um, Shovel Knight, King of um, Doctors... Okay, I'm just being stupid right now. King O Torment, you know. Freaking. What a shame. What a shame! Okay, let, let's just get back up here before I... I swear, if I use that item one more time... Okay. It's not because I'm intentionally trying to use the items... I don't know why. I haven't even been playing other platformers that have, like, the use of A. But A in this game isn't the jump. B. At least if you're playing on the Switch, it's B to jump. Well. Okay, now I can't speak. Now, most platformers... Well, maybe not most, but, like, a lot of platformers have A as, like, your jump option. Well, this one, that A is to use your items. Well, without even playing another platformer, like, heck... I think this is the latest platformer I've played. Which, considering how early I record some of these episodes, it's actually kind of depressing. So, hello from, um, when's the day of recording this? Oh, um, March 13th? I'm kidding. I, I don't record these that early. I, not gonna lie, I'm a huge procrastinator when it comes to recording. I, because so many good games come out, like, this will actually date the recording, so shoutouts to anybody watching this way in the future. But I've been playing a lot of the Xenoblade remake on the Switch. And oh my god, that game is amazing. The only real problem I have with it is it's preventing me from actually recording and making YouTube videos. Because all I want to do is just play Xenoblade. And you're like, oh, but Fuse Stopper, why don't you make a Xenoblade video? Here's the thing. I love JRPGs. Heck, modern JRPGs are probably my favorite genre of video game. The only issue I have with them is I think they are very, very boring to play in a video format like I am with Shovel Knight here. Like, a JRPG is best experienced if you buy the game and go experience the story of it yourself. And without giving away some of my future plans, I do have a way to kind of countermeasure. Like, where I can still talk about some of my favorite games without, like, doing this video format. I, I do have something... Basically, without trying to stutter way too much here, I have plans to talk about my favorite game of all time. What is it? Well, if you know me, which currently with my subscribers you probably do, you you know what I'm going to talk about. But if you don't, if you just stumbled upon this YouTube video and you really want to know what my favorite game of all time is, you're going to have to wait a bit. It's going to be a lot of editing. Okay, but enough promotion. Let's talk about King Knight. Now, this stage... Is beautiful. I mean, no, okay. Let, let me actually go to. It's very nice, similar to the Trapple King stage. Uh oh. I, I think those blue guys actually saved me from dying from spikes there. What, what I was trying to say, similar to the Trapple King stage, it's nice that they added a brand new type of stage. So it's not like, oh, well, this is um King Knight stage or like the like, Pride More Keep. Heck, you can see your ship in the background supporting us. Also, I'm not missing a medal. Why do I always, like, I'm like, oh, I, I think I'm missing a medal. And then I always end up missing a medal. Because I think this is the boss. What took you so long, King Knight? I've been expecting you. You're every bit as flashy as I've heard. How did you know my, my name precedes me? I see. Excellent. And you, you must be... That's right, it is I, the final Joustus Judge. 
Lord and High Ruler of the Birder Bluffs. King Birder. Oh, well, hello there. Greetings, fellow king. Let the final match begin. Hmm, where shall we all sit? Sit? You need only kneel before your new master, King Birder, and prepare for an eternity of servitude. Okay, well, you know, we are a king. We ain't letting this happen. So, with any boss, use your items wisely. Heck, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I think I... I would not recommend using this item. I'm just trying to style and make more use for this honestly really freaking cool item. I would recommend using the rat bombs. Those are probably the most practical item in like any boss in this game. I just think this one's so much more fun to use. So if you want more fun, use the freaking I can't remember name boots. That's their name, yep, the I can't remember name boots. No, use these boots if you want more fun and actually to kind of cheap them out. But use the rats if you just want to sweep them. By fraud and fin, it's a fake, a decoy. King Birder was merely an enchanted birder. But then, who was the final justice judge? Oh, ho, 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 my poor feathered puppet. Ah, well, the ruse was great fun while it lasted. King Birder was a deception? What's the meaning of this? Who are you, witch? You may all pledge your loyalty now, for it is none other than I, the Enchantress. The Joustus Crown was a contest of my own devising. I wanted the kings, the Joustus judges, lured in the one place ready to be controlled. No, treachery! While the world obsesses over a silly card game, I've been amassing an Invincible order of knights. A rogue recruiting evil knights in our kingdoms? Disastrous. I was going to control your minds, but the Justice Crown has already afforded my plans ample time. Can't you see? I've already won. Soon, you'll feel the might of a true tyrant. Toodaloo, imbeciles. We must return and warn the others. What will become of our kingdoms? What a strange dream. Oh, and new friends are here. Are they the ones that rescued me? Pomacious pufferfish! The birder can still talk! Wait, are they talking about me? Can they hear me? The enchantress gave me a voice! It was her voice before, but now I have my own voice, and I've overheard her plans. Maybe I can help. King Knight, this birder has endured great hardship for his knowledge. Please listen to him. Hop on my back, friend. I'll tell you all I know about the Enchantress. Perhaps, with luck, we'll prevail. Off on her mighty steed. And so, the innocent King Birder shared his kingly misgivings about the Enchantress's evil scheme. King Knight failed to grasp the gravity of the situation. And with that, we got a new, well, I'm just gonna call him a pet because he basically is, he's just a tiny little bird pet. You're back, our cohorts just told us the awful news. It's all true, the Joust's crown was a sham. The Enchantress distracted us all. We're doomed. Everyone, settle down. Your attention, please. Hope is not yet lost. The Enchantress fooled us all, but unfortunately for her, she also brought us together. Our captain is right. We must unify and fight for what we cherish. My kingdom, my griffiths, and my friends at the Tropical Pond, and our majestic king. For birders and all those without a voice, I may have just joined, but your angle is true. It's been quite a journey, but our goal is now clear. We can't let the Enchantress win. Now, who's with me? I'll fly as close to the Tower of Fate ahead. This is it, King Knight. We're all depending on you. So it seems we have a mad ragtag group of wannabe heroes, or... Well, King Knight is a hero. He's the hero of the people. Yeah, we just got a whole group of people to join with us. And we're going to talk about a story. Okay, we're just going to jump off the ship. Now, unfortunately, as we realized right before, it was right at the beginning too. Where the hell did I miss it? 
And we have the Tower of Fate. But before we continue on to the Tower of Fate, we have to go back and get a secret. Cut to it when I find it. Okay, so basically in this room right here, you're gonna wanna go up this ledge here, easy enough, and you'll find a chest with, who would've thought, a metal. Cut back to the overworld map. Okay, so we actually got the metal with that level. I didn't mean to run there. So that means, next time, on Shovel Knight King of Cards, we continue on to our final frontier. To the real mastermind behind all this. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. See you all later.